This is Kavra, a barren desert land in West India where a mega project is in the works. And this project will aim to provide more electricity than the entire nation of Greece produces and fuel India's growth in the next decade. Let's find out how. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. This is Parth and welcome to What's Next, a channel where we explore the ins and outs of sustainability and our journey towards a sustainable world. Back to the video. Let's start with where this renewable energy park is located, Kavra. Kavra is a tiny, tiny village in the region of Kutch in Gujarat in India. And it is located on the desert flats where access is really difficult. The nearest connectivity we have to the rest of India is through the town of Bhuj, where there's an airport and a train station, but Bhuj is nearly 70 kilometers away. And to go from Bhuj to Kavra, a car is must. And yet, despite this difficult access, on July 16th, so about a week before the release of this video, US ambassador to India, Eric Garcetti, paid a visit. Why? Well, it all comes down to one of the most ambitious projects in India's history, the Kavra Renewable Energy Park. The Kavra Renewable Energy Park is located on the desert plains near the Kavra village. And when constructed in 2030, it will be the largest renewable energy park in the world by a mile. The capacity would be 30 gigawatts. And for context, the largest current solar park in the world, which happens to also be located in India, called the Badla Solar Park, is just 2 gigawatts. So this Kavra is expected to be 15 times larger. Of course, there's a little bit of a difference where the Badla Solar Park only has solar panels, whereas the Kavra Renewable Energy Park will have both solar panels as well as wind energy. The idea is to make maximum use of your day by producing energy through solar panels in the afternoons and then over the night, as well as on gloomy days when it's windier, you use the wind plants to produce energy. But that's not all. The Kavra Renewable Energy Park is supposed to be technologically one of the most advanced parks yet. It have the largest wind turbines in the entirety of India at 5.2 megawatts each. It will also feature bifacial solar panels. And these bifacial solar panels will be able to produce electricity from both sides of the actual panel, whereas your traditional solar panels are only able to produce electricity from one side. This should theoretically increase efficiency. And last, but certainly not the least, it will have waterless automated cleaning systems for these panels to combat the dusty and the harsh conditions of the desert climate. And of course, the waterless system will enable uh, the plant to not use water, which is of course a scarce resource in that desert climate. But Kavra is more than just its record-breaking headlines and its fancy technology. It's a symbol of India's commitment to sustainable growth. The Kavra Park is located in Gujarat, the home state of the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi and a state which has seen rapid development over the last two decades. And this Kavra Park is just adding to that list of growing developments and advancements in that state. The Kavra Park is a joint partnership between Adani Energy and numerous state and national energy companies, with Adani getting 30% of the entire total capacity of the park. It is a shining example of how beneficial public-private partnership can be and how it can work out. And of course, it will expect to create around 100,000 jobs for people in that region. And last but not the least, it is a signal to the rest of the world that India is looking to fuel its rapid growth with sustainability and environmentally positive energy sources. India's energy demand is projected to double between 2021 and 2030 growing by around 180 gigawatts, and projects like Kavra are crucial to meeting that increase in demand. Just imagine, one project in the entirety of India can meet about a one-fifth of that increase in demand. And you might ask, why is it so important to meet that growing energy demand? Well, it's because India's population needs it. India is going a rapid pace of development and a rapid pace of urbanization leading to access to electricity at near record highs. And we need to ensure that electricity is provided to those who need it. Because access to electricity is one of the fastest ways that India can spur development in the country. To conclude, this is India's decade 
and it's projects like Kaga that are turning that ambitious vision into a reality. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like and subscribe. You can really help a small channel like myself out. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.